The Marcus Whitman Hotel, located right in the heart of downtown Walla Walla, is putting our crew up for the weekend. Now, I checked out their website before we got here, and it looked pretty good. But walking into the lobby here, I think it's going to be really, really good. Take us on a little tour of this room and the lobby and the, and, and the guest rooms. Okay. Well, right now you're in our Georgian room, and uh, a lot of people get married here. A lot of well, we just had a wedding party here. I was taking pictures a few moments ago uh, as well. And of course, the the lobby, uh, you know, everything in there is is pretty much original. We had George King lighting out of Portland, uh, take the chandeliers, redo everything for us. We ground about an eighth of an inch off the terrazzo marble to to smooth it all out, cleaned up all the European mahogany. The rooms are amazing too. Yeah, Describe the rooms. We've always had the high-end Sealy uh, posture repeating mattresses. One of my rules is you gotta have a great night's sleep and, and a bed makes all the difference. So we've added flat screen TVs now, big walk-in showers, large vanities for the ladies with drawers and storage, handheld hair dryers. We carry the same fabrics and colors throughout the entire hotel. So whether you're in a room in our, in our historic tower or in our west wing or even in our ballrooms, you'll see those fabrics and colors throughout. So there's a continuity in that as well. As you can see, and as you've been around the last couple of days, uh, the old Grand Dam is still is shining. So it looks incredible. Now you have some stuff going on too. There's construction up top. We went up top today. In about a month, we're going to start on Panorama, which is our new lounge and nightclub on the very top, on the 12th floor. I noticed there's, a, there's also a chopper as you walk in the door here. <laughs> Tell us why that is. Well, uh, ownership does have its privileges. So that's, that's, that's <laughs> and it my, should. That's my parking spot. So that's your hobby, though. Yeah, uh, I've been involved in motorcycles since I was about 12, and I uh, actually built that bike back in 2003, and that's therapy. What's going to happen tonight? Well, Chef Bear is, is putting on a, a, a sample of what we do for our winemaker dinner. So it's seven courses, six wines, all, all paired, and we're actually using the wines that, uh, uh, from the folks that you've met on your trip here. It'll, it'll give you a, a feel for what we do for our winemaker dinner series, which we do with seven of them a year. We're going to start off with a seckle pear. Seckles are an old heirloom variety, smaller, sweeter pears. We're going to do a little Dungeness crab with Yukon potatoes and Serrano ham. And then we're going to do a smoked uh, curb with a pork cheek. We're going to braise that and serve it with local organic mustard greens and a quinella smashed yams with preserved lemon. Are you hungry? I am. Pal? I am. <laughs> <laughs> We got to thank one special person here because this trip happened because of Kevin, my buddy from Portland here is with Divine Wines. Kevin, you made this trip happen. Thank you so much. Well, glad to be a part of it, John. Tell us about Divine Wines. Well, Divine started um, about five years ago and uh, just after I got done with retail, I decided, well, one, I want to move back to my hometown, Portland, and uh, really wanted to promote Washington Wines in Oregon. How did wine get into your blood, though? You, you, you've been into wines for a long, long time. Other than drinking quite a bit. Um, <laughs> when I was a freshman at Whitman, um, my friend Mark Weideman introduced me to Rick Small, um, who was one of the pioneer, pioneering uh, winemakers here in, in Walla Walla. And we just, uh, uh, he took me to some wine dinners, and uh, he was a big supporter of Planned Parenthood auction here, and uh, I just got more and more involved with Rick. And um, he, I, I'd show up at his tasting room and uh, just spend hours talking about this or that, and um, he's, he's so charismatic and passionate that uh, it's funny, it just sort of all evolved from there. Now you've told me before though that Walla Walla Wines are a huge passion of yours, and we're about to find out more so. We've already experienced one winery. Why is it such a huge passion for you? Um, it's, I think it's where I, it, it melded um, passion and uh, intuition. Um, so many things are going on. The, 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 it's not tried, true, and tested, and I've never kind of gone along the norm. I've never succeeded by going along the norm. Every time I've had an idea and gone after it, people have gone, what? <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> and um, I just, you know, sometimes you just believe in something and you go after it. 